Alright, so you guys already know what the title's about. Fade Excel Link. Got it here today. We're going to be uh, opening it up and checking out what the Fleeting Glory Edition has in store for us. I would have got this on release day, but Amazon kind of screwed me over because they gave me an estimated date of delivery of June 14th. Yeah, no fan. So I canceled it from Amazon, got it off Best Buy. Best Buy shipped it over. I got it within two days. And uh, yeah, here we go. It's a... Uh, Friday as I'm recording this. I actually got it yesterday, but I didn't open it yesterday. There it is, boys. Oh yeah, this is the uh, Umbrella Star first, the first game. Uh, this is the Noble Phantasm edition. This one is much more heavy. Now, I actually had the Japanese version of this game ordered last year, the limited edition one. I had to cancel it, though, because uh, the month after it released, I was going to Anime Expo, and I kind of wanted to save money, so I kind of canceled that and just waited for the uh, English localization. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the first one, Umbrella Star, I got the English one on PS4, Noble Phantasm Edition, and then I also got the uh, Japanese uh, Regalia Box Edition for the PS Vita. Um, so, yeah, that was cool. Uh, I'll leave links to those videos if you want to see those uh, in particular, but that's okay. Today we're taking a look at this bad boy right here. Alright, so the front of the box, the artwork is actually pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. It has uh, the new Saber right there. I actually don't know his name. I think it starts with a C. Alright, so here we go. This is what it looks like. It's about the same size as uh, the previous special edition, so yeah. I was actually debating whether or not I'd get it for the Switch or the PS4, but then I figured, well, I got this one for the PS4, so I might as well do this one. Mine's a little banged up here, as you can see. I don't know exactly how I did that. I think I might have sat on it or something. Cool stuff. Alright, uh, opens the same way. Okay. Uh, I believe this is the cloth poster. Or like the cloth. The other previous version did come with a cloth too. Holy shit, that smell is actually really so strong. Uh, you can't see the full thing here, sorry, because my lens is only 25 millimeter and it zooms in quite a bit. It looks pretty nice. I hate the folds. Uh, I've never really ironed anything, but I think maybe you could get rid of these if you ironed it. <laughs> if you're looking to hang up stuff like this, I would recommend uh, something like Command Poster Strips. I use those quite a bit when hanging up stuff, so you might want to check that out. Alright, so I believe this is the uh, soundtrack right here. Alright, opened it up. Let's take a look at what the CD looks like. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Nice design there. Okay, it comes with around 26 tracks. Whisper to the Sea of the Moon, that actually sounds pretty cool. Alright, and then you got the game itself. Which, uh, pretty cool. And what else in here do you get? Uh, Alright, that's it for the box here. You got... What is this, a jigsaw puzzle? Okay. Uh... Oh. So, uh, the quality on this doesn't look pretty good. I It feels like there's, uh, like, plastic or something that's covering the this side uh because on the back side the images look way sharper but on this side it doesn't look like that so uh i feel like there's some plastic i have to rip off but i'm not too sure i'm not feeling anything this literally has the smell of like play-doh oh wait i got it that is really actually kind of hard to that's kind of annoying to get Ooh, that looks so much cleaner holy crap that looks really clean all right Sick. I guess I'll get the rest off the other ones too then. If you don't got like sharp nails, I don't know. I don't see how you'd be able to do this. <laughs> and even then, my, I don't know. My nails aren't even that sharp. Alright. Nasty. Alright, so there you go. That's what it looks like when it's finished. It looks really nice. Uh, with the wrapping off, god damn, it looked really uh, low quality before, but it looks really clear. Uh, nice display thing. I I think I might put this 
Maybe either on my desk or somewhere else, but yeah. Uh, let's check out these. These are the servant cards. So Charlemagne. Is that how you say his name? Charlemagne? I... There you go. That's his name. We got Saber. Uh, Archer Arjuna. Cool. Astolfo, Ryder. Robin Hood, Archer. Uh, Francis Drake, Ryder, of course. Lancelot, Berserker. Darius the Third, Ska. Uh, Gills. And uh, Rex. Who's looking mighty ugly, by the way. Uh, so, servant cards, not bad. They kind of smell weird, too, but, I mean, whatever. These are okay. I think I like the previous ones from the from the previous version, mainly because there's, there's just a lot more servants in there that I liked. Holy crap, that smell is actually freaking strong as hell. Holy crap, that is actually kind of gross. Game, let's take this, let's take a look at this thing. Okay, the back has a nice shot of all the servants. The game disc, and I even get some downloadable content. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh my god, even the mat, even the game disc smells weird. Holy crap, this is, this smells increasingly weird. All right, so Fatic Style, Fleeting Glory Edition. Is it worth it? I'd say so. Maybe that's just the collector in me speaking, but uh, I'd rather have this than just get this. You know, a nice, nice collector's box, all right? You get a couple of other things. You got the soundtrack, which is pretty dope. I'm pretty sure it's going to have some good tracks in it. I've only listened to, I think, one of the battle themes, and it was pretty good. Uh, you get the cards, which I didn't care too much for them in the last uh, collector's edition for the first game, but, I mean, they're there. Uh, and you get this acrylic stand piece, which I think is a very nice touch. Good display thing if you don't really have anything to display on your desk or something. Really nice to put that there. And then I think the best thing is definitely the cloth poster. Very good thing to, uh, you know, hang up. So I'm pretty excited to play the game. I know a lot of people don't like warrior type games, but I've always been like the type of guy to just love like shredding down hordes of uh, enemies. So warrior games are pretty cool. And uh, having a fate one is also pretty cool. I'll be streaming this on my Twitch channel. Link it down. So I gotta play this, I gotta finish Hollow Knight because I've been putting that off for so long because I don't wanna venture into Deep Nest. Oh my god, that place gives me the creeps, the sounds, man. I'm probably gonna have to mute my game when I freaking jump into there, cause goddamn. I don't even know why I, I bought the game in the first place. I hate bugs, but it's such a good game. <laughs> and then uh, literally today, as I'm recording this, Sekiro came out and uh, I bought it on Steam. So, yeah. I gotta play that too because it looks pretty fun. It's my first From Software game, so we'll see what I get into. Hopefully, I don't get my ass beat too hard, but that's probably gonna happen. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Special thanks goes out to Seswat, Beast, Rykarian, Jay Hayes, JJ Hittery, and Haruka J. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs>